Hello, welcome back to um, Soft Spoken Stories with uh, with Alex. So, I recently got this um, wooden wick candle my friend recommended it to me. Um, said that was, there was a um, crackling sound when you light it. So, that's what I'm going to be doing today. It's lighting the candle and listening. Crackles. Uh, got the matches, and this is a RDD inspired by nature Kona coffee wooden wick scented candle, thirteen point six ounces, three hundred eighty four grams. It smells very nice. Um, I got it at. Uh, I think I said that I'll be love you. So let's open it. <laughs> oh, it smells very nice. <sighs> very coffee like. Very strong scent. So and the wick is quite it's hard, okay. So I'm going to take some matches. Maybe make a nice crackling sound. And then I'm going to turn off the light up up ahead. Oh. There we go. Without burning myself. A beeping sound okay. Sorry about the sounds. All right, I think the sound went away. She was right. It does sound very good. Maybe pull, put it closer to the mic so you can hear the sounds. Sounds very nice. All right, I think this will be a story where there's no whispering, but just soft spoken. Once upon a time, there was a giant volcano, a big, enormous volcano. 
far off in the distance on an, on an island it was inhabited by different animals the birds um, different types of birds parrots parakeets colorful birds birds have never seen before and um, different type of mammals there were koalas different breed of koala bear. They were quite large, very large, probably the size of a man. Fluffy, cute, but a little bit dangerous. Now, this, uh, uh, this volcano hadn't erupted in nearly a thousand years. smoldering flames shooting around all around the volcano at the basin was beautiful palm trees growing salt water seas all around and this volcano would just smolder like this for hours for days for months weeks, for years, for centuries, just smoldering. A few occasions there would be a little poof or a puff of uh, flames, it shoots up about a thousand yards, then go back down, continue to flutter around. far down in the volcano, hot, hot, very hot molten lava, just brewing, and um, inside this lava there were sexual creatures that lived in the lava, they were lava rock monsters, well to humans and whatnot they were monsters, but they were just a part of the uh, the lava, the volcano ecosystem. But they were just like um, um, trolls, like rock trolls in Norway, made of rock, blended into the mountains. The lava beasts were made of lava. Their heart was. Uh, beating lava heart. They would swim around in circles, eating uh, um, other lava creatures that lived inside this giant volcano ecosystem. Sometimes they would get a treat, maybe a, um, a dragon flying off in the sky the, the sky dragons, the ones that just fly around and they never land on the ground, and they just fly all the time. And maybe one happens to decease or, or die and falls right on top of the uh, volcano. Falls in and the creatures have some splendid feast. Eat away at this sky dragon. But that happens very rarely, not too often. And maybe sometimes they get a random aircraft land right into the volcano. I mean, far off in the distance, it looks very splendid, very nice. It's a white light, and the aircraft just disappears and just poofs into the volcano. And the rock beasts, the volcanic beasts, have another smokish board of metal and cushiony seats to munch on. But, uh, yes. Ah, the smell smells very good. 
smells like a nice volcanic scent. Coffee like. Of course it smells like coffee because up at the ridges there's a, a rare kind of coffee bean that grows in the, on the top of the volcano. And it does not have leaves. But uh, they, they hang over and sometimes they would fall into the volcano and create a scent. Smells very nice, very heavenly. And, uh, and that's what this pungent odor is emitting. Is coffee, very nice coffee. And some 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 ships some uh, from far off centuries ago had uh, talked about a smell that would impair me. Yeah, it smelled very nice smelled like coffee and um, these ships would come by and try to the people on the ships would try to snatch away the coffee but of course the volcano was very treacherous to get up there was many things that they saw they could not unsee you know beasts and whatnot weird animals animals larger than life massive soft looking koala bears but of course very very aggressive there were giant sloths walking around giant ants this place was very um treacherous and difficult to uh, difficult to uh, conquest to uh, explore so they just made tales about don't go here don't go there don't go to the giant coffee smelling volcano you, you'll perish like the rest of us so but that's okay they found other places to set foot on and whatnot and there are actual people that live on this island the volcano but they know not to go up it and they know that volcano will not erupt but when it does the rains will come and it will give them a warning to, let's uh, let's go now we'll get on the boats and float away to another big island They see the light and they smell the coffee. They're about to crash into the uh, volcano. 